Hello everybody, I want to show you 10 cool things you can do with the Huawei P Smart in the version of 2019. So, uh, the first thing is uh, if you have incoming calls, uh, sounds or vibration, you can mute them. If you put just your phone like this and um, on the table, no? and uh, you have to enable it. Uh, you have to go to the settings first, then you go to Smart Assistants. And then to motion control, and here you have, you have the point flip to mute. And then, as you can see, just put the phone on the table or on the ground, and you can mute incoming calls if you have enabled it, and also as well times and alarms. Yeah, another very nice feature is the digital balance. Uh, you can uh, set up the time how long you want to use the phone on the day. Um, and you uh, can customize it also for some apps how long you want to use that app and then after it turns off. It's especially very good for children and uh, also maybe if you want to control yourself if you think that you use your phone too much and then you can control a bit yourself. Okay, let's go to the settings to enable it and then I can show you it better. So then we have here the point digital balance. And uh, first of all, you have here a statistics, uh, how long you have used your phone already today. So I've used it for three minutes. Um, yeah, here are the settings uh, I've used, the Google Play Store. And um, yeah, then you have here the chance to enable the screen time management. And then you, would, uh, uh, you will set up if it's your phone or if it's the phone of your kid. Uh, may, let's do it as my phone so that you are an adult now and then you can here set up the daily time uh, well, maybe six hours uh, daily screen time and what is also very nice so why we really uh, think about uh, work days and they separate also the rest days so that you can say okay on the rest days I want to have a bit more um, or less as you want no? And uh, yeah, and also you can give, as I said, also to the apps a limit time that you say maybe, okay, uh, YouTube, I want to uh, use a limit of three hours and uh, of YouTube, and after three hours, I cannot use YouTube anymore. And uh, yeah, something like this. And also here, you can also enable a bedtime. Right? This is especially very good for children to protect them. Um, if we enable the bedtime, you can set it up that the screen is in this scheduled time here, always gray. And if you enable it, then the screen is gray and the, the child uh, don't like it if the, the, the videos are not that colorful and so on and so on. And of course you can as well block apps. Uh, so if your child really wants to use the phone, in the night and still have some hours available, then uh, you cannot use the apps you want to use. So a very, very nice feature. And of course, the childs are very clever. So it is good to enable also this point. So the screen time management pin that the child cannot change the pin, uh, it cannot uh, 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 change the, the, the settings. You have set it up before. Uh, because it's locked. No? So, a very nice feature. And, uh, yeah. Okay, another nice feature is the ultra power saving mode. So, in case you have just a few percent of your battery, you can enable a power saving mode, uh, which one doesn't need much energy. So, for that, you go on the settings, then you go on the point battery. And uh, first of all, you can see here. Uh, how many percent you have remaining of your battery and how long is the remaining time. And you can enable the idle power saving mode. And then it will tell you that you can just use uh, some apps and go on enable. And now as you can see the screen turn completely into black and that saves a lot of energy first. So you have the basic uh, apps like uh, the dialer, the message uh, and the contacts and you can add some more apps, maybe if you want to have WhatsApp, then look for WhatsApp on your apps, tap it, and yeah, what else? 
maybe a calculator and so on and so on and later you can also edit it here um, by your own to customize it a bit but at all you have just these six apps here and if you exit that mode uh, and come back later so everything will stay the same so you don't have to customize it always you just customize it one time and you still have that apps and yeah as i say the power saving mode is really nice and may you will save your life one day because you have much more energy go and exit here now if you want to leave it on the arrow and confirm it with exit and now you are back and the regular mode and you can also take of course a screenshot with that phone uh, in case you have a nice website or something like this and you want to capture it so just use the power button and the volume down button for the same time hold it for one or two seconds and you can do that okay and if you want to screenshot the complete website uh, uh, from the top to below then uh, you can make also a scroll shot with the phone so it's also very easy may let's go to the settings because you can scroll down also here to show me that what i mean so use the power button for and the volume down button to take the screenshot and we have a screenshot down and now scroll down the screenshot and you will scroll down to the complete screen until the end and you will have the complete website as that screenshot just um yeah as you can see he captured the complete uh settings so and uh, also maybe if you want to record the screen um then uh, may if you are playing a game and so on and uh, you want to show that to others um you can also take a screencast with the power button and the volume up that button if you press these both buttons for the same time you will ask you first if you want to enable the microphone as well so it means uh, if people can hear also what you say during the process or you can offer it as well then he just will record the sound of the game so uh, let's enable it go and start and as you can see here the screen recording is running already you can stop it here on stop or the same way power button and volume up button so just go and stop here and then it's finished and after you find everything on the gallery um, here my screencast and my screenshots yeah that's it okay another very nice feature is you can uh, clone apps so in case maybe you want to have two whatsapp accounts because you use two you can use two sim cards in that phone then uh, it is also possible the same with facebook and so on so just go on the settings for then we need the point apps so then we need that point app twin and here now you can enable the apps uh, you want to clone um, in that list you will see all the apps later you have already on your phone and which are supported from that phone you can clone uh, may as i said uh, let's clone whatsapp so now we're creating a twin app same with facebook it's creating a second facebook now and if you go now on that side here i have one facebook account and the second one and the same also with the whatsapp and the second one have always that uh number two here okay uh, and if you want to um uh, uh, delete them you can delete the app as you as you want to do and also just here to disable uh, go and close and now the whatsapp and facebook account has disappeared as well and i just have my regular accounts on that phone so a very nice feature as well is uh, to chat you the on and off time of the phone um, so let's go to the settings form and to smart assistant and here we have Schedule power on and off. It's very nice because you can save energy, and uh, you can say it, uh, tell the phone, okay, always at this time you have to turn off, and always on this time you can turn on. So let's enable the schedule uh, power off time. So uh, it's 11 p.m. here, and uh, as well you can also uh, change the repeat time. So if it's just for one time or always from Monday to Friday or every day or you can as well customize it the days and uh, yeah then it will go off uh, let's maybe do it from Monday to Friday and uh, now from Monday to Friday the phone will turn off at 11 p.m. or uh, 23 uh, o'clock um, 
yeah and the same thing as I said also you can um, judge also the power on time uh, and 7 p uh, a.m. it will turn on and, and also the repeat time and so on and so on also from Monday to Friday the phone turn on automatically a very nice feature as I said um, so you can support also the digital balance with that uh, so that you control it with yourself and you can save a lot of energy with that because at night to be honest don't use the phone and if you want to use it just on it let's come to the next point there's also something very nice also for the night um, some people have problems to sleep in and uh, there is uh, something there's a blue light filter in, in, in the phone which one supports your eyes a bit and so on and so on and may you will sleep in uh, better after using your smartphone because some people really have problems to sleep in after using their smartphones so let's go on the settings form and uh, then to the point display and here we have that uh, feature named icon form turn it on and as you can see the screen is changing the color and here you can change it into a bit more warm one or in a cooler one and um, yeah so this light don't stress the eyes too much and uh, as well as this you can also chat your may um, if I offer it here now first then on the chat your time then we start at uh, 10 p.m. so one hour before we want to sleep in eh? and uh, also you can set up also an end time if you want to leave it uh, the whole night on and um, yeah so a very nice feature uh, may you can leave me in the comments um, uh, your impression about if it helps maybe or not let's see it's a try so the next feature I want to show you is a part of the camera uh, in that low budget phone you will find a very nice feature which one is normally uh, part more of the more expensive phones like the P20 or the Mate uh, 20 series um, so it's the AI feature, the artificial intelligence feature and uh, that recognize uh, things and give them a better color. So let me show you and talk too much. So uh, this is the basic picture of the plant and now we enable the AI feature and now you will recognize as you can see that it is a plant, it is written here and you will change the colors and so on. So, and um, if we compare now the two pictures, uh, the second one, okay, it's a bit shadow here, but it's more powerful, the green is more powerful and so on. And um, yeah, just, just try it, it's uh, very nice, it recognizes pets, uh, foods. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice, you should try it. So the last feature I want to show you is also about the camera. So uh, you can recognize things with the camera and uh, the software guides you directly to an online store where you can buy it. But to be honest, it doesn't really work actually. So it doesn't even recognize uh, the phone, the P-Smart phone uh, of Huawei. Um, but you have some other stuff and that is very nice. Um, so let me show you how you can go there. So just Use your, go with your finger like this and first of all you have here a search bar where you can uh, looking for some stuff uh, on your phone for some keywords and uh, yeah here is the icon on the camera and there's also a translation inside and that's very interesting you can go here and translate down now I have already it included then I uh, choose the text I want to choose and then the phone is detecting the language and put it in English as you can see now. So I have German letters here, uh, German words and I put it in English. A very nice feature. And uh, as well you have also here that uh, shopping app as I showed you but uh, it doesn't really work actually. Uh, but we give Huawei time is a nice feature and we have that QR code reader here and I say thank you for watching phones and more. Yeah, thank you so so much for watching this video. I hope I could help you with it. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me some thumb up uh, if you like that video. It would be very helpful for my videos. So thank you so so much for. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me. It would be a pleasure to see you again. Maybe until next time. Ciao!